will be there every minute for you. I've got your back, as I said a while ago. He lets us know he's got our back. And so the you know the Bible talks about the giving of your tithe one tenth. And personally, I have done it with and without. And I'm here to tell you it's a lot better doing it. Because you'd be surprised how far a $100 bill will stretch <laughs> when God gets a hold of it. Even a $10 bill, even a $1 bill. How far he can, he can make a dollar go. And again, I, I challenge you, if you aren't doing that, get a scripturally a need that, that you need to explore and talk to God about if you aren't, aren't doing those things. Malachi also talks about it. Malachi chapter 3 talks about the faith and the giving of God, the test that God does. And Malachi chapter 3 it says, test me in this. See if I will not provide for you. And friends, I challenge you to test God. If you don't believe it, uh, one of our, our pastor's sons a few years ago was off at college. And one of his friends was, was having a real tough time parting with his money in that respect. And so the pastor's, pastor's son said, I challenge you. He said, God will take care of you, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. If you will, if you will give it, just give it. And when it comes time for that pledge to be done, do. He said, if God hasn't provided, I'll pay it. And so, so the kid did. He, he wrote out a check and did whatever he was told to do. And don't you know, on the last day when it was due, that young man received a, a check he didn't know was coming that more than covered what he had obligated himself to do. That's the way God works. He works in mysterious ways, as one was still before. Oh, but how true that is. I mean, no, it's just so true. Yeah. I hope you're hearing my heart this morning. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. That all of these tests that God puts us through is for purposes. It's to help us grow in faith. Because what? God loves the person that has faith. He expects you to have faith. He wants you to have faith. He demands you have faith. He loves, loves that aspect of you. Item number four. And this is another one that's a real, you know, a real bugaboo for me and Pastor Bo. It's God tests us through delays. And oh boy, you know, immediately I go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's like. You get behind the line and the person up the front can't find their credit card. They fiddle fumble around or you know, other other issues that they may have. Or one that gets me, my personal peeve, I'm just sharing. Personal peeves, I get over crying. And all I think excuse me ladies, but all these old ladies get out in the aisles. They all have a buggy. And they all have to stop and handle everything. And if they aren't doing that, they congregate and they think that's the social meeting for the week. No, I have to pray through every time I come out of there. <laughs> and I know pastors mentioned too that he has some issues with, with traffic. <laughs> no, that's another one. You know, how many of us when we come up to a stoplight that we come up and we see it's red, we begin looking and say, okay, is this slot closer or is this slot closer? You know, you do it. Come on, fess up. You do it. I know you do. <laughs> but you know, one thing is, is also true. If we didn't have faith, or if we didn't need faith, every prayer would be immediately answered. Think about it. Every need would be automatically met. Just automatic. And every problem was instantly solved. And so, again, sometimes we do have to wait. And sometimes that's when God talks to our heart. 
is when we're in the moment of fun. Well, in another doctor's office is another one. That, that's a cool, <laughs> cool example. When you're supposed to be there at 9 o'clock and the appointment's 9 o'clock and the doctor doesn't show up for you until 10 o'clock, you know? And uh, that's all testing our faith, folks. <laughs> like it or love it, that's a test. <laughs> and, and here lately, I think I've even, I've probably been more conscientious of that because it seems like I've made a path to the doctor's office here in the last, <laughs> last few months. But I'm learning. And then, again, God says, accept all those tests with what? Joy. He said, be joyous and do it. Be joyous. I've got a couple, some trivia for you, too. I know all of you like trivia. So I, I saw some of so I gotta say this. Because it, it 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 shares with us a few things that that are what we do with our time and how how time is is, is in waiting. And, and one of them is it says it takes six seconds to fold a carry towel. It takes 10 seconds for a slinky to tunnel down the flight of stairs. How many know what a slinky is? <laughs> Kids, I'm sorry, you probably don't. <laughs> takes 10 minutes for a snowflake to form. It takes an hour and 40 minutes to watch some kind of a movie. It takes 13 hours for weekly food preparation for the average family. And this one, it takes, it takes 24 hours or that yucky plaque to build up on your teeth. Now, aren't you glad I told you that one? <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> it takes 80 hours and 42 minutes to complete household tasks with, with a family with, with, with little kids. It takes a week for bacon to lose its freshness in the refrigerator at 32 degrees. No, isn't that valuable to know, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I want you, when somebody asks you tomorrow, what's your service about you, you tell them. Okay? <laughs> but you know, even in those little times, yeah, those are, are things that we spend time waiting on. But even in those things, God can, God can work through us and can teach us even in the little things. But he's really interested in the things that we don't want to wait for. Like the healing. Like the check that we're supposed to be in the mail. That's the things he's trying to teach us. That's where the core of this thing is. And again, I, I come back to the children of Israel. How are we doing on time? Not good. <laughs> children in the promised land they probably could have made that in two to three weeks it was a distance but it wasn't all that far but because God wanted to teach them many lessons he let them circle and circle and circle to where he could teach them different individual lessons yeah. and it took them 40 years oh boy they must have been slow learners one thing I think you know, there was a lot to be learned. I'm not sure which, but <laughs> anyway, God says in Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse two, God, God, God led you all the way in the desert these forty years to test you in order to know what's in your heart. And that, folks, that's all. That's part of what He's interested in. He's testing us. And so I'm going to wind this up. It's, it's already packed. And we don't want the Baptists to beat us to the church. Plus we got a, or to the restaurant. And uh, plus we got a wedding to get the lovebirds on. So anyway, we're going to wind this up real quick. So during the week, if you evaluate yourself on these four items that, that we've talked about, the difficulties that he tests us with, the demands that he puts on our life, the money that he allows us to have, because that he allows us to manage would be a better way to put it. And also what he causes the things that he causes us to wait on so that he can work on us, work on our heart. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you for your word and we thank you that you care enough, Lord, to spend time and to create trials and temptations to show us, to teach us 
but then we also appreciate that you're right there beside us. You've got our hands. You lead us through. That where there should, when you're leading, where there should be two pair, pairs of footprints, there's only one because you're carrying us. And we thank you so much for that this morning. And Father, if there be here one this morning, we pray that the Holy Spirit pricks their heart to examine their own heart and life to see, see how much faith they have. Now, if they, I encourage them, challenge them, Lord, to ask, ask you to increase their faith, to grow their faith, Lord, because we know that in faith, developing faith creates trials and tribulations. But again, we come back and we thank you because we know you're there. When you're doing something behind the scenes, it's behind our back. Let's stand, Father, and if you will, you all stand and be dismissed this morning. We just thank you so much. Appreciate your attendance. I'm sorry I got a little bit windy, but not bad. The last time I was for two hours. You got a